Hey beauties, it's time to wake up, and yes, you were in a dragonfly dream. If my look won you over and impressed, be sure to vote for me as one of your face awards top 12. I'll have the voting link down below. Now if you thought that little roller coaster ride was over, oh no, we're just getting started. Now let's beat this face and make some dragonfly dreams come true. Let's slick this hair back. I'm gonna use the Redken Braid Aid. Redken is a sponsor of the Face Awards this year, as well as Kitsch. I'm gonna use these My Kitsch Metal Bobby Pins to pin this bun into place, get this hair out of the face so we can work. Tatcha is another sponsor, and I was gifted this water cream, and this is great prep for any look. Beauty SFX Avant Garde. This is amazing to hydrate your skin, and I like to go in with the Gold Spun Lip Balm after to really soften those lips and prep for lipstick later, and this stuff is amazing. Thanks, Tatcha. Follow that with the First base primer spray by NYX and you're ready to go. So we are gonna be rocking a no brow look today. I'm gonna go ahead and block these babies out. We don't want any brows. We want tons of room to work on our face and get this look started. So I like to block them out using the Gachi Covered Concealer. This makes sure that no brows poke through. It gives a nice even base and it's waterproof with great coverage. I'm using the NYX Precision Blending Sponge to blend out and I'm gonna go in with the Invincible Fullest Coverage Foundation next all over my face. This is very full coverage so it gives an awesome theatrical look. I love it and I'm blending out using the Teardrop Blending Sponge by NYX. Finish off by going back in with the Gotcha Covered Concealer and set everything using the Studio Finishing Powder. So the Ultimate Brights palette is going to be our best friend for this look. I'm going to pick up the blue and pop this in the outer corner of the eye and then circle this in to make my eyes look really round and I'm also going to pick up the green in this palette and pop it on the lid as well as the inner corner. So I wanted a really bug-like look, I wanted something trendy and I wanted some drama so I'm using the Epic Ink Liner and I'm doing a huge wing and I'm bringing this back in creating a very over exaggerated graphic liner. Next, I'm going to pick up the 3-in-1 brow pencil and I'm going to use this to create the veins in the dragonfly's wings on my face. This is really easy to kind of wipe away if you make mistakes, so a brow pencil is the way to go and I love this one. I also use the micro brow pencil as well for these smaller lines around my eyes. Going in with the epic black mousse liner, I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of those lines we created using the brow pencil. You want to go nice and slow and really easy and make these lines pretty thin because we're going to be shading them in later. To fill in these wings, I'm going to go in with the Hot Singles Shadow First in Harlequin, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the larger areas. This is just a beautiful iridescent purple. It looks really, really good in like the larger spaces. To fill in the smaller, more medium-sized areas, I'm going to go in for the Primal Color in Hot Yellow, and then lastly, in the smallest areas, the Hot Singles Shadow in Poolside, which is a beautiful ocean blue. For a pop of green, go ahead and pick up the lighter green in the Ultimate Brights palette and pop that in those areas. So once you've added in all the shadow, you're going to lose a little bit of that color, so go back in and touch up those black lines with the Epic Black Mousse Liner before you keep going. So it's time to get our shading on. We're going to go ahead and shade in these wings. I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Primal Color in Hot Black, and I'm filling in the edges and also the inner corner areas of these shapes that I created. They're very rectangular, triangular, and right when you see them touch, that's where you want to fill in. You want to make it look like they're overlapping, and this is really a game changer. It makes it look like it's possible out of your face it actually looks like a real mask when you shade just right and it really changes the entire look it brings it to a whole new level so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in certain areas of the wings with iridescent confetti and this is pretty much like a highlight in a way it looks a bit holographic which I thought was really cool and now I'm gonna pick up the NYX face and body glitter in sapphire blue and right on the inner corner areas of my eyes where the inner part of my brows would be I'm gonna go ahead and pack that in it's just a beautiful beautiful glittery blue Going back into the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm going to pick up the lightest green in the palette and really pack this on the inner corner and also drag it down for a very grungy look. I wanted a blue waterline, so I'm using the Slide On Glide On Eye Pencil in Azure, which is a beautiful ocean blue. For mascara, I'm using the NYX XXL, of course, and I want huge lashes today, very black, very full, so I'm coating the top and also the bottom. I made some paper lashes and a really spiky shapes for an avant-garde bug look and then we're going to get into these glitter lids. So I'm using the NYX glitter primer first and going over the top of the green area of my lid with the silver face and body glitter, really packing that in for a super shiny glitzy lid. 
For some more glitz, you can place some rhinestones in the inner corners of your eyes and also around the paper lashes. I'm going back into the Hot Single Shadow in Harlequin, and I also mixed it in with the Ombre Blush in Sweet Spring, and I'm gonna fill in the center area of my forehead as well as the bridge of my nose with this. I wanted to go over this and make it really sparkly and glittery, so I'm using the Face and Body Glitter in Silver and just packing that right in. So for lashes, I'm using the NYX Wicked Lashes, of course, but I did customize them and add some feathers at the corners of them. These are purple, so they really complement the look and give it a very avant-garde feel. Moving on to these cheeks and the contour, I'm going to pick up the primal color in hot yellow and really pack that along the top area of my cheeks, kind of like the apples in my cheeks. And then for my contour, I wanted something pink, so I'm going to use this beautiful purpley pink shade from the Avant Pop palette. And then right on the apples of my cheeks, I picked up this blush, and it really gave so much shape to my face and made this look very chiseled. So for lips, we're first going to line with the Suede Matte Lip Liner in Stone Fox. This is a very dark gray, which is perfect for the base of our lip. We're going to be doing a black lip today, so we need a strong lip line. So we're going to fill that in with the Liquid Suede in Alien. This is a beautiful, rich black. I just love it so much. I live for it. This is everything. And I think it really complements this look and all the black in the wings. Time to get into this body beat. I'm going to use the NYX SFX Cream Color in Black to fill in my neck. And I'm slowly going to bring this out onto my shoulders very lightly. And make sure you set this with the SFX set so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to grab my cream paint in blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and top that off with the NYX Lid Lingerie in Fame and Fortune, which is a beautiful silver and gives it more of a chrome look. And I'm also going to do the same method using the green SFX cream paint. Claire Sonic is a sponsor of the Face Awards this year, and I was gifted the Sonic Foundation Brush. I love it for beauty makeup, but I also love it for a good body beat. And I'm using this to blend in the SFX cream color in Fuchsia. And I'm going to go ahead and top that off with the Prismatic Shadow in Doll Face, just right over top. So now we're going to go ahead and cover our ears. I'm using the SFX cream color in green and then going back in with the Fame and Fortune lid lingerie to give it that chrome look. This look was highly inspired by dragonfly wings and the veins that are in their wings. So I'm going to go ahead and create them on my chest. I'm starting at the very center of my chest and I'm using the epic black mousse liner to do this. I'm creating pretty thick lines at first and then I'm going to go in and create smaller ones and just add some dimension to this look. And I really wanted them to fan upwards and kind of come around me in a way. So now going back in with the primal color in hot black, I'm going to shade the inner corners of the veins and make them look more three dimensional. So you want to go in between them, kind of around them, and if they're overlapping, you want to go underneath them so they look more 3D. For a beautiful dragonfly highlight on the chest, I'm going to use the prismatic shadow in Mermaid, which is so beautiful against darker shades. It really makes everything pop and just adds so much dimension to this look. So I'm popping them in between the lines and also on the collarbones as well. So I wanted to create a bug-like texture in between these veins. So I'm using a modeling compound to do this and I'm just laying it nice and flat in between the larger areas of the veins and carving rectangular shapes, triangles, and little squares, kind of like a bug's skin. And it looked really buggy, which I was really loving. And I also mixed in some iridescent confetti and also the face and body glitter in silver to give it more of a shimmery bug look. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with the epic black mousse liner and this is going to add a lot of depth to these insect scales and make them look more three dimensional, more realistic and just a lot deeper in the skin, a lot more realistic. To fill them in I'm using the SFX cream color in green, fuchsia and then the cosmic gel liner in supernatural which is a beautiful blue. I also topped them off with the NYX Lib Lingerie in Fame and Fortune and a silver shadow from the Avant Pop palette for more of a scaly look. I'm filling in the more blank areas with the silver face and body glitter as well as some iridescent confetti and then popping on some accessories because our look is almost complete. I'm going to add some glitter to the lips. I'm using the NYX Face and Body Glitter in teal and also silver. And I'm packing that right on the center for a beautiful highlight. And now we got to get this dragonfly dew going on. I'm going to pop on a yellow wig. I think this complements the look so much. I am so in love with this yellow hair. So different, so unique, very dragonfly. Love it. And for our eyes, some yellow contacts to complement the look. And then some yellow antennas. Guys, this dragonfly look is complete. 
Alright beauties, looks like we made some dragonfly magic and if you would like to see me as one of your top 12, then be sure you vote for me down below. I'll have the voting link ready for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in your dragonfly dreams.